In this tutorial we're going to look at how we can use the same functionality as before with the uh, a picture for a tag but this time play a video in front of it um, and rotate the picture so it's um, rotate the video so it's perpendicular to the picture. So for the demonstration I've got uh, Jurassic Park 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters for our scale and I have a video. This video is of a, of a T Rex. <coughs> I'm going to use and it's just a standard green screen video that I've downloaded from YouTube. So my starting point is um, to add a new scene and this time we're going to go into assets, primitives and we're going to use a plain mesh. Now this will allow me to um, have the, the video perpendicular to the, um, to the tag. So what I'll do is I shall rotate this and bring it forward so it's stood up and you'll see in a sec, maybe gone a little bit too far with that, let's just rotate it back a tiny bit, there we go, that'll do. Now I'm going to add a couple of um, dummies, so I'm going to start with uh, my dummy AR like before and this time I'm going to add a dummy target which I'm going to just call dummy target. I'm going to place the target inside the AR and I'm going to place the plane inside there. Okay now I'm ready. So I'm opening up my scene and I'm going to add um, our AR capture. So input AR capture and then input again and the AR marker. Now I'm going to load up the marker so the marker is going to be a picture that you saw earlier it's in my test folder and this picture is 320 by 320 just to make the, tr the training a little and I'll be able to print that as an A4 uh, nice and easily setting the size to 15 centimeters the object name is the dummy AR I've got it set to enable on start everything there looks correct so I apply that and press OK now if I double click on it and zoom in you'll see this plane is a little bit too large so we're going to resize that plane so I get my scale hold the alt key down and I'm going to scale that down the last little bit ok and let's just move that let's have a look at that think that should be okay yeah looks about right so we'll press OK on that now there are some uh, additional features I need to add because I need to be able to remove the green screen from the video when we add the video so we're going to add some resources to the scene so we're going to right click on the scene node and we're going to add some resources so there are um, five resources we need to add first one they're under assets they're under uh, uh, materials and the first one that I need is the cutout now you need to do these in the correct order so open the cutout add resource I'm going to open the cutout FP add resource I'm going to add cutout VP I'm going to add another resource um, cutout program And then finally cut out materials, so add, add resources, cut out materials. Okay. Now what I can do is right click on my map and I can edit the materials and I should be able to choose the green screen. Okay, that will remove the green screen from the video, so we can close that bit. 
Now I'm going to add um, a video plug it. So I'm going to find media, I'm going to find video, and we're going to fill this one in. So first thing we need to do is we need to get the video. So it's a local video in my case. I'm going to find that video. There it is. And I'm going to apply a texture. I'm going to apply that texture to my um, to my plane. Now that's the green screen that removes all the green screen stuff. If I was doing a YouTube video, I could link it straight to the YouTube URL here, but it's got to be copyright free. Um, I'm going to play it. I'm not going to set the autoplay. We don't want it playing automatically. I'm going to turn on 3D sound, and the bit I always forget. We scroll down the bottom we need to make sure that transparency is enabled if that's not enabled the green screen bit won't remove so I'm going to apply that and I'm going to press OK now my next job is to create my um, links I'm going to need um, a hide install for that so a hide instance so object hide instance We'll hide on start and we'll make sure we choose the one that we want to hide, which is going to be our primary plane. So press OK on that, apply that, press OK. So now it's time to, uh, to add in our little bits. So I've got my marker. So under found, we want it to play. And under lost, we want it to uh, pause. Under found, we want it to show. And under lost, we want it to hide. Very simple, just like before. One other option we've got to include. We need to include um, a target. We created a target here. So I'm going to add another input this is another object and it's called target and we're going to set the target up so the target is going to be the uh, the dummy target there it is and the object is going to be the current camera it is everything else will enable it and everything else we shall just keep as is right we are now ready to give it a test and see if it works so first job obviously save it so i'm going to call this let's there, let's go to my test folder i'm going to call this uh, t-rex and we're going to um, export it so it's called check for scale still looks okay let's export it Android application. Just make sure the tablet's plugged in, which it is. Now we'll do this one as portrait. My target's x86. If you're unsure, just use default. I'm not going to use a key store, I'm going to do it on the device. Press OK, and once again, we're going to wait. Okay, it's found it. It's now transferring the APK over to the tablet. And we're all done, so let's give it a try.